channel uh, first uh, we're gonna need a 5mm uh, crochet hook and uh, scissors and yarn the color of your choice of course first uh, slip knot like this insert your hook and chain uh, 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight nine ten and then skip once skip one uh stitch and insert your hook with the one loop and single crochet single crochet every stitch nine single crochet because one uh well, chain one is considered one for our counts so the total would be uh, 10, 10 counts, our first layer. It will be our uh, bottom or rib uh, edge for our uh, crochet projects today. So once you're done doing that, uh, chain one and turn your, turn your works. And then uh, single crochet. Instead of single crochet on this side, you're going to do that in one loop at the back loop only one loop at the back single crochet this is called ribbing guys in a crochet terms i don't know what other thing uh, what other terms they are calling this kind of stitch but uh i heard some of them saying it's ribbing and it's single crochet in a one loop at the back of your stitch do the same process until you reach the desired length for your uh, clothes or top. Chain one, turn the, uh, the works and do the same process until, as I was saying, you reach your desired length. It will be our uh, edging and it will be the bottom so here we go guys i finish uh the my desired length it's here like this so once you finish it it's anyway i just want to tell you it's uh this size that i'm doing is uh 120 times of uh going back and forth by ribbing doing the edges and this size is just like my size so i'll show you just the size 16 times 2 because it's so 32 it's size 32 so once you finish the ribbing just like this just chain one and then join them both sides just like this and uh, slip stitch one loop at the back to the other side just like this one just slip stitch like that one by one okay slip stitch slip stitch just 
just make sure it's your slip stitch it on the same both sides slip stitch and last but not the least here we go so it will be our bottom side it will look like this one as you can see so it will be our uh, inside and this is our outside will be our front side so what we're gonna do just uh chain three one two three and just continue double crochet every one eh, each uh, just make sure it also of course this is 120 times count so our double crochet all the way for our first row in this uh, side will be 120 counts also just like what I'm doing so it will be 119 double crochet that's a double crochet all of them first then later I will show you what's the next uh, stitch we're going to do but for now our first row will be double crochet chain 3 and then 119 double crochet the total counts will be 120 just like that want to see I'll show you later uh, once I'm done doing my double crochet it will look like this one guys so here we go guys I finished our first row for double crochet so you have to uh, join them I mean slip stitch to just uh, slip stitch there the first just like that and then chain three one two three get it one two three and then instead of doing here or here we're going to uh, do our uh, slip what I mean here no our double crochet on top here so you can see here insert our hook again uh, get the yarn insert your hook at the back of the stitch and then your hook will be on front of the stitch and get the yarn from this pull through get the yarn and pull two loops and another one full two loops then get the yarn for the second stitch instead of doing here just like with what we did for the first stitch we're going to put or insert the yarn this time it's here it will be under the stitch because we're going to get the yarn from above here so the, the stitch will be up and the hook will be under the stitch get the yarn pull through loops pull through loops that's it so do the same thing what we did on the first stitch and the second stitch stitch so this time we're going to under at the back so that the hook will be on top of the stitch just like that get the yarn full through loops get the yarn full through loops so this time get the yarn insert your hook this time on top under the stitch and the stitch will be on top to get the yarn 
fold through two loops, fold through two loops. So this stitch will be like this. Up and down, up and down. This time will be here. Just like that. Just double crochet instead of regular uh, double crochet on this uh, two loops. We're going to do that in between to get the stitch up. So the stitch here like that. Alternate guys, it's supposed to be down like this. And this time up, just like that. Do the same pattern all the way to finish the row uh, two. So one more time, I'll show you again. This time it's on top. This the the hook will be on top of the stitch to get the yarn down. And full true loops, full true loops, and another one. This time the stitch is up, the hook is under the stitch, full true. Just do the stitch alternately so he can get the stitch, the alternate stitch, just like what I'm doing right now. Just make sure you will not. Uh, confused by doing that so you will see the stitch like this one okay so I will continue doing the same process of stitch or double crochet to finish the row 2 so here uh, what we're going to do is a slip stitch on this first uh, chain that we did here, 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 here. So one moment. Just slip stitch there. Slip stitch. And then what we're going to do, since this is uh, just do the same stitch what we did here. So if it's under, we get here, this under, uh, we're going to chain, no, what I mean is, we is slip stitch here, so this one is up, so we're going to do the, uh, our, uh, insert our hook under the stitch, the first stitch, get the yarn, fall through, first loop. So we're going to do that again to show you. So after we slip stitch to close the second row, just insert your hook under the first stitch of a second row, get the yarn, and slip stitch that on the chain here of slip stitch. And then that's where we're going to do our chain three. One, two, three. And since this one is uh, on top of the stitch, our first uh, change, uh, first double crochet in the second row. So our stitch will be same stitch. Okay, just get the yarn and on top of the stitch, get the yarn and fold through two loops. So this one is on top, I mean, uh, under. The stitch, so we're going to insert the hook under the stitch and fold through two loops, fold through two loops. And same thing, what we did the stitch in the second row, the stitch, the stitch we're going to do on every stitch on the third row. So continue doing that just like what I'm doing until you reach the desired. A length that you want for your uh, tops so just make sure we have doing the same stitch every line so if this one is on top supposed to be on top stitch and this one is uh, on under so we're going to do that it will be under so we have the same uh, line 
same stitch on the one line and every line I mean so just continue doing the same stitch what I'm doing right now so you will get the same the perfect stitch for our tops continue doing how many rows you want and how many uh, length do you want for your top until we reach it and I'll show you later how we're going to do with the arms okay so here we go guys I finished until this uh, size so as you can see here it's a uh, seven actually if you stretch a little bit it'll be because it's a stretchable so it will be eight exactly eight inches eight inches eight inches enough for our bottom it will look like this one as you can see this is a uh, worst stitch and I'll just put a uh, mark marks on this marker I place my marker for make sure your counts is uh, even numbers so you can uh, place a marker for your arms I leave uh, I'm going to skip uh, five here five counts and the other side too and make sure this is the same uh, count as uh, the other side so what we're going to do we're going to to stitch the same process this is one stitch so we'll do the uh, slip stitch and uh, chain one one two three and then continue the same stitch that we're doing yes and the top and back uh, stitch double crochet so we will continue to do the same stitch until here we're going to do our uh, front uh, stitch first just skip this five and the other uh, five also So here we go guys, once you reach that uh, marker there, what you're going to do is turn your works like this and chain one, I mean chain three, one, two, three, and do that same stitch. Uh, double crochet all the way until you reach the other side do the same process until just do the same process until here until here so so just back and forth so here we go guys I finished the first side of our uh, crochet top uh, and this uh, stitch I'm going to cut the yarn yes we're going to cut the yarn and this uh, side I crochet the stitch for 16 times back and forth so we're going to do it also the same uh, size to the other side so it will be balanced so slip knot of course we're going to slip knot and then uh, insert your hook skip the pipe uh, stitch uh, to be our uh, arms of course that five stitch will be our uh, arms uh, side so we'll start here insert your hook and get that yarn oops yes we're going to start that side we place our marker there and chain three one two three same thing what we did to the first side we're going to do the same stitch what 
here on the other side too. Using the double crochet stitch, uh, every line, every stitch, doing that uh, just like the stitch that we're doing at the under the stitch and on top of the stitch until we reach to the other uh, side of the marker. So here the other side, I'll show you this is what it looks like. So we're going to do that where we place our marker from side to side. And here we go. I finished both sides now. What we're going to do is to uh, slip stitch both this to the other side from right and left. But we're going to leave a hole in the middle for uh, give uh, space for our neck. So I for this uh, project, I, I put slip stitch only 15 slip stitch 15 uh, stitch and same thing to the other side we're going to slip stitch this time both uh, both of uh, loops you insert the hook there both loops both side slip stitch and that is 15 counts same thing to the other side of our crochet tops 15 also so we will not be uh so it will be balanced of course i mean 15 counts all right all right all right okay 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 I finished both sides of our shoulders it's almost done if you don't want to have sleeves just a uh, double crochet both side of that arms so you can use it now it's fine just like what I did I show you I can all uh, use it or wear it the same without sleeve here we go to our arms to finish it we need to chain three one two three and then double crochet every uh, uh every space there in our only one double crochet in every sp space of our stitch on the all right all right all right okay 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 Da 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 da
Before changing tree, you have to check uh, with where we're going to do. If is it uh, on top or under the stitch our hook? Sorry for that. I did not see the. Okay, just slip stitch. And then for the second row, this is where we're going to start the same stitch what we did in our uh, body. So we need to count uh, from the arms because on the five uh, stitch that we skipped a while ago for our arms uh, space, uh, you need to check so it have the same stitch as uh, under or uh, on top of the stitch. Chain three and then double crochet and all the way to finish the round. Uh, row two i mean and then do that sleeves on to your desired uh, sleeves uh it is long sleeve or short sleeves it's up to you but this time i'm going to do the long sleeve all right all right all right okay 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 I finished the desired length of my sleeves here on my top and it will be uh, 14 14 inches 
then it's time for my uh, hands uh, edge or arms edging in its ribbing also same for our uh, to finish that project in our arms side going to chain 10 then one two one two three four five oh no five six seven seven eight nine and ten and then after that we need two a uh, single crochet single crochet that then a uh, ch chain no only nine single crochet on a second a chain the first chain will be skip the first chain single crochet on the second chain and it will be total of nine single crochet all right all right all right okay 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 and once you're done for nine single crochet you have to slip stitch to the first uh, loop on that side and one more the second uh, slip stitch to the next stitch and then turn your works back and then single crochet this time the same thing what we did on our weaving we need to do we need to do single crochet on one back one loop at the back of that stitch of 10 chain what we did just like we did in our bottom edge ribbing single crochet supposed to be nine single crochet that's it and just do the same process until we reach the last stitch on our hand or arms edge <laughs> here we go that's what our uh ribbing on the arms just uh, we finish it and uh, cut that yarn and hide the tail of course and we'll also do the same uh, process of stitch on the other side of the arm so it will be balanced it's up to you uh, how long your sleeves and this time I will show you first uh, the ribbing on the neck for our neckline of course it's just uh, ribbing also but this time I will uh, rive, uh, I mean chain we need to start chain slip knot first of course and uh, insert your hook and get that yarn these two loops yes that's correct you have to insert your yarn to the two loops and uh, chain 10 it's also ribbing 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and single crochet nine single crochet just like we did in the arms edge 
just do the same thing until we finish that rib on our neckline I'm just going to show you how it looked like maybe you missed that uh, stitch what we did on the arms it's also the same uh, counts 10 and just back and forth all you need to do is slip stitch on the two chain stitch on the uh, neck side once you finish that nine single crochet eight oops there you go slip now this time we're going to slip stitch on two loops and then to the next two slip stitch and then turn your works and single crochet to the one loop only at the back of the stitch that's it that's correct just like what we did in the arm side just continue doing that until we finish it just like this one all right, all right, here we go guys right, we finished that uh, crochet tops i hope okay, you will like it okay, okay, it's done